Right, here's a brief explanation. In each turn, we can do the actions where we have these counters. One player lays out one player lays out these in a random order and then the other players follow uh, how the layout is done yeah. and alterations by your character are done. Those are already upgraded because that's I've got some, yeah, yeah, I've chosen the upgrade guy. Uh, if I want to travel, which I might want to do to begin with, I take the, the two counters off and then I can travel two because I've got two things. Okay. So I advance them normally, all things being equal, clockwise around around the rondelle, is that what it's called? And then I can move two places. So if I had four on the travel on the travel counter, I uplift four and I can move one, two, three, four. And then I put one, one two, two, three, four down. In fact, the characters that will play alter that slightly, but that's the basic mechanism. If you want to travel out of a place where there's an army, uh, that is an independent army, not, a, not one of the players, then it costs an extra point. So let's suppose that I have four to move here. One, two, three, because there was an army here that, that were not defeated and the fact that I had four is irrelevant, that one is spare. But later in the game, we can do things to use the spare pieces. Let's just do Crusade first. So if I want to beat the Slavs here, as I might, I need to have a strength of three. And I've got three on my Crusade tile, so I uplift the three, and I distribute them in the normal way, and then I take the piece and I get three points. And that, that moves up from to the next step, and I take three points. Okay. One, two, three, and then that goes in my loot. So that's moving and crusading. Um, so in both cases, you need as many counters as the thing you're trying to do. So if I wanted to move from here to here, that's two. From here to here, that's two. And from here to here, that's two. So I would need two, four, six. I'd need six to go there, wouldn't I? There are other things we can do. We can build. And the cost of building is written rather unintuitively on the bottom underneath the thing. So if I want to, you agree with that, do you? So if I want to build a castle and unlock my second knight, I will need three points to do the build. Then I pay my three from the build, distribute my counters as usual, put my castle down, and then I get the number of points shown on the pennant, which is one. So I've got an extra point. And now I've unlocked an extra knight, which starts in the same place. Now that's useful because later when I want to move, let's, let's suppose I want to move him to there, and that cost me just one, and I could move him to there, that's another one, and I could go there for two, three. So then I spent four all together, I've utilized my counters better. Does that make sense? If I build either a castle or a bank here, not only would I get, let's suppose it's my first castle, which would give me one point for the pennant, it would also give me one point for this. So these, these counters here, so give a bonus. One point for the pennant? Uh, the uh, pennant that's in the corner of the thing. The buildings give you different things. So building a bank, which I might want to do here after defeating these Slavs, and in this case the cost of defeating the Slavs is four, uh, and I've only got one on my <laughs> I only got one on my corner here, so I would have to do some other things to get the pieces over there. Let's suppose that I do build a bank there. The cost of doing it is three, so let's suppose that I've got three on my build square. So I put that down. I get the points for doing it, which is plus one there. And I get one for the bonus that was on the tile. And then that tile goes away. Now, next time I build, I've got an extra point for building. So those would have been distributed like that. And that's good because the next time I do anything, I will have to pay more. 
So the next bank that I build costs five, the next build bank after that is seven, the next bank after that is nine, and all of these fourth position buildings give a bonus at the end of the game. So just briefly sketching the bonuses, if you build banks, it makes it cheaper to build buildings. If you build churches, you get more, what is this, influence. So if I clear off my counters here on influence, I would get two, four, six, eight points for influence. So I just take that number of points, like that, and then distribute my counters as usual around the, what is this, a rondelle? So that would have been my influence. But if I'd built a church somewhere, now I get that number of points plus one. And that's true, look, with my barns. Are these barns or farmhouses? Something like that, farmhouses. Um, is that when I've built my third farmhouse, I also get an influence bonus. Banks help you build buildings. Churches give you more influence. When you earn influence, you get more influence. Castles unlock knights, and they do other things as well. You get a travel bonus if you unlock your second castle, you get more strength in your crusading, and so on and so forth. And there are these end of game bonuses at the end. Influence a point. Um, winner at the end of the game is the one with the most points. Defeating uh, foreign armies gets more and more expensive, but they give you more and more points. So later in the game, it might be eight points to defeat the last Slav. Um, go on, Luke. Can I kill you? No, okay. sadly, right. rather disappointingly. Yep. Okay. Oh, that is a bit of a shame. Yep. Um, now, yeah, the Saracens need a bit of explanation. Yes. If you defeat the Saracens here, they always cost six points. Yeah. That, that yeah. doesn't change. It, cr it costs six to crusade against them. Six crusade points? Yeah. So that might be made up by, for example, let's say so I've got four points on my crusade tile, plus I've mustered twice. <coughs> now I've got a total of six. One, two. Okay, so these are just universal bonuses. Yeah. Those are permanent bonuses. Yeah, permanent bonuses. Permanent crusade bonuses. Yeah. If I defeat this Saracen, I can either have the points for defeating him, which is just three, or I can have the building that's designated, which in this case is a bank. So that would obviously be quite good value because it uncovers another, yeah. probably better the than point the point for building the bank. And as JC says, I get the two points for having built it. So defeating the Saracens is good for building stuff, not great, not great for points. At the end of the game, uh, we'll have collected a number of these um, tokens. Tokens. Let's suppose you've got two, and I've got four there. Then, at the end of the game, we have these special awards where I've got the majority of Slav defeats, so I get an extra five points, and you would get the extra two points, and if they're tied, I think we flip them and we each get that number of points. So if there were two of us tied or three of us tied, we'd all get the... That's it. You don't, so you don't need to uh, do a thing on the rondelle. You could upgrade a tile, which means to flip it over and then to take any of the pieces and distribute them as usual from any point. So I think it says from any one wedge. So in that case, I would distribute like that. Okay. But I could have, but I could have picked up any of the pieces from anywhere. Not the one that I'm upgrading. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it, this is useful because it gets you can get uh, short-sighted. You get into a position where you can't. Do you can't do anything uh, constructively, so that's a good time to upgrade. You only upgrade once. You can uh, once each I tile can only be upgraded once. Yeah, but I can't flip it back over, which would be a downgrade just to get my pieces to move. No. Okay. So now I could take my knight, go one, two. So that's. So I've spent my two to move, and now I've got one, two, three but I need five to beat the Prussians, and I've got an extra one, two. So I've got five strength there to defeat that guy. And I would get the points for it, which in this case is five points. So I'd take the five points. And there are other uh, combos, for example, uh, Crusade and Build. So, you, so if, you had enough, if you had enough points, you could defeat an army and build on the square. Yeah. That's pretty expensive, but it's 
what's good to be able to do. Travel and influence, this is a pretty good one because you can spend the excess. Let's say I've got the five here. Let's say I move two squares and then I spend the rest on influence and take three influence oh, points. points. Yeah. Okay. So I can use the both. I think that pretty much covers it. Is there anything uh, else to end say? Of game. Ah, no, end of game. Well said, JT. The game ends when all of these points, which have been set up at the beginning of the game, have been exhausted. So the end of the game is triggered when the last of these is taken. Okay. Extra points can be taken from the reserve that's in the top there. Just, just bring that down into the frame, Joseph. So, so this isn't available during the game. So the last, the last point is taken. If you needed to take more points, you can take them from here, and that will be the last round. Yeah. We go to the last player, or we do one more round? No, we finish the round. We, we finish the round. Then I suppose the thing we should say is that the, the player pieces are asymmetrical, there are different things, and usually they let you do things like move in different directions. So I'm going to take that one because that's interesting. And I get to flip two guys to begin with. Where do we start? Oh, okay. Yeah, we First take player. it in turns to pick a place. Yeah. Uh, what are these minus ones? Uh, those are discounts to build. Ah, uh, discounts to build, yeah. Okay. So um, this is hard printed in. Yeah. These are the starting, these are the four starting places. Um, Okay. Beware of the gazump, which is where you've attacked the guy and somebody else comes Someone in comes and builds on your off place. Uh, what else should new players be aware of? Um, that's it. I, th I, think, I think that's it.